Today on BRS TV, we have our new lab grade pH probe. The most obvious question everyone wants to know is what makes a probe lab grade? It can mean a lot of things, but most of the benefits have little value without understanding how a pH probe works. Today, we'll give a brief overview of uh, how a pH probe works, follow with some key features of our lab grade probes, and the benefits a user will experience. The technology is pretty simple. Most of today's probes are known as combination probes, which means there's really two probes in one. The primary probe, or electrode, is located at the probe tip inside of the bulb. We disassembled this one so you can see the inner workings. The primary electrode is located in the center of the glass tube. The small glass bulb will become coated with a hydrated gel, which allows it to properly measure the pH of the solution. There's a second reference probe found within the probe body. In this case, you can see the second electrode right here, which is contained between the glass inner probe and the outer shell of the probe. This area is typically filled with a reference gel of potassium chloride and silver chloride. Most probes consist of a break-resistant polymer that protects the thin glass tube connected to the probe bulb. The layer in between the glass tube typically holds a reference gel of potassium chloride, silver chloride, and a reference electrode, which is essentially the second probe. The probe works by measuring the electrical potential between this reference electrode and the sample electrode located in the bulb at the bottom. Concept is really that simple, and this is pretty much what a single junction pH probe looks like once they're disassembled. These are three different brands, and you can see for the most part they all look fairly similar. The technology that goes into building a probe is pretty old and well understood. For that reason, the manufacturing is often outsourced to Asia, and the result is normally a good probe that comes at an affordable price. Our lab grade probes take this known technology and builds upon it to produce a highly refined product. Part of this means bringing production back to the U.S. Producing lab quality scientific products means tight control over production practices and materials used which is best done here in the U.S. Probably the biggest difference is the addition of a second internal junction. The junction provides a path for the reference probe to complete an electrical circuit with the sample solution, which in this case is our aquarium. Most of the probes sold to our industry are single junction probes. In a single junction probe, the junction is located within or next to the seal at the bottom of the probe. A double junction probe like this one has a second seal and junction found at the center of the probe. The double junction design adds to the cost and complexity of the probe, but the recommended in instances where the probe will come in contact with proteins or heavy metals. When these elements come in contact with the silver within the probe gel, they can precipitate out on the porous junction and clog it, which can cause drift and shorten the life of the probe. The double junction design used in this probe has a first junction at the bottom of the probe and a second one located in the middle of the probe. This essentially divides the probe in half with two separate chambers. The chamber directly above the first junction and seal doesn't contain any silver, so this will greatly reduce the chances of any precipitation on the first junction. The second chamber towards the top of the probe contains a silver which is required for the reference probe to work properly. This design prevents precipitation by keeping the silver away Away from any junction that is in direct contact with the aquarium. Junctions can be made out of a variety of materials, but most of the models used in our industry use ceramic junctions. These can often be seen as tiny pegs that protrude through the seal. These have been used for decades on pH probes and originally designed for liquid-filled probes where some amount of fluid transfer is desired. Probes used in the aquarium industry are almost always filled with gel where there's little transfer, so while ceramic works, it isn't necessarily the best option. Our lab grade probe uses Pellon strips as a junction material, which is a true electrochemical insulator. The Pellon strip completes a circuit between the reference probe and the tank, but allows for very minimal transfer of elements between the probe and the tank. The Pellon strip is also much easier to re-wet than ceramic junctions in the case of accidental drying out of the probe. The rest of the advantages are found in the attention to detail and quality of components used. It may just look like a wire and a BNC connector connected to the probe, 
but pH signals are very high impedance and the cable can act like an antenna. Our lab grade cable is a special low noise design with a tightly braided tin plated copper shielding and a special extruded conductive polymer to prevent noise. One of the things to look for is how tight the braiding is. A quality cable will basically have 100% coverage and basically no spaces in between the weave. Many imported probes use simple coax which does not have the extra shielding and may be using less expensive metals. This added shielding keeps the noise down and increases accuracy. Our BNC connector is also made to higher quality specifications with superior insulators between the shell and center pin to reduce noise and increase accuracy. The outer shell on the BRS lab grade probe is made using epoxy rather than less expensive polycarbonate that's much more common. The epoxy shell is a highly resistant material and inert to a wide range of materials making this one of the more chemically compatible options available for probes like this. Lastly, the probe is ROHS compliant, which means it's been tested and certified for dangerous substances like lead and mercury. All these things combined with being designed and assembled here in the U.S. means the BRS lab grade probe will be more accurate, drift less, require less frequent and quicker calibration, and last substantially longer, which should make it a no-brainer for anyone who values any of these advantages. Many of the applicable design elements are also found in our lab grade ORP probes as well. One thing worth noting on the ORP probe specifically is the use of high-grade platinum rod on the ORP electrodes. Many of the other ORP probes are using either plated rod or lower quality platinum. On a final note, I think it's important to mention there isn't a unified lab grade standard for probes, just more or less a designation by the vendor that a particular probe is better than the other one they sell. Our goal with this video is to make it as clear as possible what the benefits are with the BRS lab grade probe so you can make an informed decision. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and ask them in the comments area below. If you found this information valuable, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every week, but in the meantime, check out some of our viewers' favorites, like this one on refractometers. Thank you for watching BRS TV.